Welcome back to Movement Professional. So I got a question on YouTube about right-sided neck pain with barbell strict pressing. Um, my thought there without actually doing a full assessment would be the possibility, is, especially as weights get heavier, the body's gonna tend to veer a little bit right. So when that happens, there'll be more weight on the right leg. That can basically make the, the right side just a little bit more compressed from the start. So on the concentric portion of the press, there might be a little bit more of the neck closer to the shoulder, if you will. So it, one way we can think about offsetting that, although when we're doing a barbell, it seems to be a bilateral movement, we can bias the one side more than the other because likely that's already happening subconsciously that we're biasing the right side. So in order to bias the left side on the bar, one of the things we can do is when we engage with the bar is we can think about our grip being a little bit more to the thumb side on the right hand and the pinky side on the left hand. So we're still gonna have our good, strong grip, but I might just create a little bit more of a, try to break the bar motion towards the pinky side on the left, and then just grip the hell out of it with more of the thumb side on the, the right. So I'll get into my strict press, and I'm gonna start with from that perspective. And then as I take the bar off the rack, I'm gonna really feel grounded a little bit more to my left side. So I'm gonna feel like I'm in the left heel, outside of the left heel, and then my whole foot's still gonna be down, but I'll feel more of the inside on the right. So now I'm just a little bit biased there. And as I press up, I'm thinking left abs, left heel, left abs, left heel. And you can see if that takes the pressure out of the right side of the neck. Because I just biased the body a little bit to the left. So as I'm pressing up, there'll be a little bit more space. I don't wanna actually be over here with my head. I just wanna feel like there's more heaviness, outer left heel, and then outer left heel, or you can think pinky side of the hand. So I'm creating that pressure as I go up. And what that does is subtly creates a little bit more external rotation on the, the left side, and subtly a little bit more internal rotation on the right side, which can then open up the right side of the neck. So give that a try, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, go to movementprofessional.com. Be happy to answer them. See you next time.